So I am the director of uh, IREM, and uh, I try to understand uh, what's happening with this um, mathematics education. What are we doing so wrong? Okay. So I'm here um, uh, building on uh, a previous talk by Konrad Wolfram, one of my heroes, and uh, he, he was um, discussing about what is mathematics. And so we said that it's posing the right questions and uh, transforming real world problems into uh, math, formula math formulation, then using computation in order to, to uh, find solutions and back to reality and verify this. Okay, and he said that uh, we're putting too much stress on the point three, computation. Okay, so creativity is all about divergence and convergence. Uh, divergent thinking where you, you think laterally. And uh, so uh, here, this afternoon is about uh, lateral thinking and modeling is really about that. So you have to open up your mind and see uh, the, the problems, see the world from uh, the phenomenon that you want to model, okay? To see, to sit in their own shoes, in the shoes of the phenomenon, and see how the world looks like from the point of view of the phenomenon. And from there, then you can understand uh, the, the phenomenon and formulate its world, okay? And so we're putting too much stress only on these very boring, convergent thinking where once you understand things, then you've got to converge and find a solution, okay? And uh, we as uh, math teachers usually, we only stress the, the end point of this diamond of creativity, okay? That is to say the boring uh, part of verification. It is really very important to compute and verify, but it's not enough. Okay, you've got as well to be creative. Okay, so math is much more than just computation. And modelization is this whole process. Modeling is this whole process. And it has to do with lateral thinking, especially these two first points. Okay, so from an idea to a profitable business, then you've got to have some sort of model, okay, business model. So let's take a, an example that I know which is uh, hiring bike systems. So this is almost the bike si bicycle that I ride every day, trying to find almost every day a new route uh, from my, uh, my home to my work. And uh, what, how to, to, what is the world from the point of view of the bicycle? Uh, well, it does really depend, and it, it op opens up a lot if it's an intelligent uh, bicycle connected to the internet and uh, with the appropriate uh, technology, then you, you, it's just a thing in the internet of things, a thing that works uh, and uh, which, parts, which is a part of uh, the smart city. Okay, so just an example of uh, uh, modeling of phenomenon here, bicycle, in order to turn that into a business model. But what is a model? So first you have to understand what you are dealing with, okay? What, what is it? Your, your, what, what is at stake? What is the universe? So universe is actually a mathematical term, okay? The universe around your phenomenon. And what are the relationships uh, in this universe? So, so there are several verbs. So you, you have to understand what is important, okay? What is different from what, okay? and what you choose to neglect, what are equal, okay? Mathematics is all about equality. The equality sign is so very important. That means what you choose to identify and what you choose to consider as different. That's very crucial. So you have to identify what, what's it at stake. Then you, you have to define. And uh, uh, we had uh, Baturina who, uh, uh, Vera Baturina who said that in mathematics, uh, you have to explicitly define things. And yes, it is, it is a drawback, but it has as well a strength of mathematics. So you have to define things. And then you have to connect the things that you just defined in order to make relationships. Okay, what, is, what are the rules? And at the end, when you have built a nice theoretical model, then you go back to reality and you validate it, especially 
you uh, look at the range of validity of your model, okay? You may come up with some ideas which may be very good at some point, but out of the bracket, you're going to make up stories, okay? And that's bad. That's bad for business, especially, okay? Um, did I say that you should validate your model? Yeah? So, one tip, okay? So, uh, the, um, if you, you want to uh, make a model, then there is something which is called the uh, Occam's razor, okay? Occam's razor says that if you are not uh, using any, uh, some, uh, something which you put in your theory, then uh, you don't need it. So, especially if you are not dealing with uh, very, very massive or energetic things or very, very tiny particles, then please don't use Einstein theory or uh, Heisenberg theory, okay? Please, pretty please, let them rest in peace. Okay, so um, what is so special about mathematics? So mathematics, in the words of uh, my colleague Cédric Villani, is like the Lady of Charlotte. So the Lady of Charlotte was struck by, by a curse which prevented her from seeing reality uh, directly. She had to look to it, uh, to its reflection in a mirror, okay? And sadly, uh, when she saw the beautiful landslot of the lake passing by, then she had to look directly at him and she died out of it, the poor thing. So this is to remind, uh, it's a metaphorical uh, reminder uh, of the would-be modeler, um, to the would-be modeler who uh, forgets to validate his model and uh, to, um, uh, who will uh, misunderstand uh, his or her model with reality, okay? Okay, so the beautiful Lancelot of the Lake is Cedric Villani, and uh, he, um, in a talk, he, he, he said uh, what uh, modeling was about, and usually, uh, when uh, in mathematics you are talking about modeling, you, you end up with these kind of things, okay? Mm. Oh. You should fall to your knees in O, okay? These are beautiful uh, partial differential equations governing most of the, uh, the physics that we have around us, okay? Um, but uh, I'm not at all talking about that, okay? Not at all. Uh, so uh, my point is exactly the contrary to say that um, the um, mo modeling and mathematics can be applied to much simpler phenomena, okay? Than only uh, uh, what is uh, visible through uh, uh, or, uh, differential equations. Don't take, it, don't take me wrong, okay? You need uh, partial differential equations in order to model uh, uh, lots of phenomena, okay? It's very useful. Okay, but uh, uh, so here is a very nice uh, movie, which is showing on the left, on the right-hand side, reality. Here, a model, uh, a representation of it, and on the left, the theory. That's the three first ladder of abstraction, okay? And so, uh, you have different uh, uh, aspects of reality, which are modeled by different uh, phenomena, different tools in mathematics, iterative function systems, uh, DNA and uh, genetic coding, uh, sound synthesis. So uh, mathematics can be applied to model uh, stock prices, uh, to, to many different uh, things in, in, in the real life, and um, there are many, many models, okay? Many models for many different things, and that's the, the, uh, the beauty of mathematics. That's the title of this uh, very nice uh, movie by uh, Ian Pinay and Nicolas uh, Lefour, I don't remember, okay? Thank you to them for giving me the right to show that to you. Okay, so I would like, uh, rather than a mirror, I would like to, to present uh, modeling uh, more like a prism, okay? Where you have a very, uh, very difficult to understand um, reality, and uh, uh, in the words of uh, Vera Baturina, project it to, uh, um, to some real dimensions, lower the dimension of it. So let's say I am, I'm only seeing the, the yellow part of this white uh, reality, okay? I just look at the, the, the yellow part, okay? I, I, and I, I'm, I'm choose to, I choose to be blind 
to orange, blue, and whatever. Okay, I choose to neglect that. That's not my model. My model is only talking about yellow things. Okay, I, I only see yellow in, in the world. Okay, so you may have you may have a reality which is decomposed into different models. Okay, which different models which may overlap, and the better if they validate, the better be agree when they overlap, uh, or may not overlap. So they're talking about something else. Okay. So that's modeling and reality. So for example, a very interesting model, uh, which is actually uh, differential equations, is the prey-predator model by Lotka Voltaire. And it shows us uh, uh, some, um, yeah, it shows us some, some very powerful things. So here you have links, rabbits and links, and if um, you have too few rabbits, then the links uh, starve, and then, then the, the rabbits are happy because there are few uh, links and then when when there are many rabbits then the links begin to to increase in numbers and you have got cycles like that like that one feature of this of this uh, uh, um, model is that it treats not only individuals you're not interested in that particular links or this rabbit or what but the probability the, pop the whole population and you're not talking about certainty but probabilities okay this is something pervading uh, the whole thing. And you can change the parameters, the birth rate and everything, and then you can attain different, uh, you can go out of the range of validity of your model. And then you know that you, sh you should be talking rubbish. Okay, you, you are making up stories. But in fact, it's not true here. Okay, that's uh, as well an interesting power of modeling is that sometimes it tells you more than what you asked for. Okay, you put something about prey and predators, and you get something about, uh, here it's uh, competitive uh, uh, behaviors, when you have, let's say, uh, cows and uh, cattle and, and uh, deers, for example. Or you can also have, um, uh, when they are beneficial to one another, you also have uh, symbiotic relationships. Okay? So in the same model, tweaking some numbers and getting out of uh, the range of validity of your model, you get another model, a model of something else. Okay? That's the genericity uh, power of modeling. Okay, so now I'm going to, but it was already very, uh, very uh, complex, no? Okay, so let's go back to a much simpler one. So in uh, IREM, Institute of Research on Math Education, we participate in two different uh, uh, European uh, projects, especially MC squared, for example, which is talking about creativity in mathematics. Squared because, uh, okay, I'm not going to go into the details. And in this, we, uh, we, uh, uh, we looked at this very interesting piece of art by Julio Leparc, uh, and it begs to be understood, obviously. Okay, what do you see? Modeling is saying, what do you see? What, what, where does this thing live? Okay. Well, obviously, you see disks okay, and squares. And uh, uh, the, the relevant parameters here are the positions and the colors. And you see relationship between the position and the color. Okay. You see that uh, the, uh, the disks are of the same color along these diagonals, while the squares are of the same color on the other diagonal. OK, we've understood everything. There is to be understood here. And we can model it. Okay. So, and you see, you, you first model the progression of, uh, of uh, colors by some control points, okay? And uh, you make uh, exactly the relationship that I talked about, that is to say they, they depend on the position by such and such, okay? And here you can create and, and use that in order to, to model not only this particular piece of art, but a whole family of it, okay? That's as well one piece of uh, one interesting thing about uh, modeling is that uh, if you have a one-shot thing to model, then you'd better you'd better off not modeling it. Okay. Okay. So another thing which I would like to model, which is more related to 21st century uh, mathematics, which is talking about nets and and uh, graphs and everything, is this very ancient uh, problem where you have a farmer which have to uh, cross a river with a boat which can take just one of these three uh, conflicting things, a goat, a wolf, and a cabbage. And obviously, the goat is going to eat the cabbage, and the wolf is going to eat the, the goat. And so uh, you have to understand where this problem lives. Okay? 
Uh, and so you have three things. You have, they can be whether on the left bank or on the right bank, three things. So uh, you take one of these, so that's two to the uh, three, eight possibilities. Out of that, you build a graph. Okay? These are vertices of the graph. And the relationships which are uh, built into the game, of the, uh, the rule of the game, is going to give you edges, adjacency edges between these uh, different vertices. <coughs> and out of that, you get the solution, sorry, you get the solution, not only the solution, but as well the whole thing. That is to say, you've got left-right symmetry, symmetry between gab cabbage and, and wolf, which may not be apparent at first. Okay? So you understand deeper the problem. Okay, so uh, another thing here is, uh, let's say you want well, to model uh, the, the uh, uh, I should have cut the sound, sorry, uh, the um, uh, a pendulum, okay? Can you press a, a pause? I should have said that, yeah? Yeah, pause, no? Yeah. Okay, so what, what, what is the next frame from here, okay? What is the next frame? You cannot know, you cannot know whether it was going left or right, okay? So uh, modeling is something important. The, the, where the thing lives uh, is not, uh, may not be apparent to the, to the eye. Actually, in order to model that, you have to take into account not only the angle, but as well the speed. Okay? That's the phase space where it lives. Okay? And, and seeing problems from uh, uh, the, the, the point of view of uh, the, um, uh, the problem, the, the phenomenon, is uh, something that uh, Temple Grandin, Grandin uh, was doing. Uh, she is an autistic person and a cattle specialist, and she is able to see from the point of view from the cattle, okay? And from that, from this lateral thinking uh, way of looking at, ca uh, at cows, she's able to, to be very effective in her work, and that's what I uh, advise you to be, good modelers, being able to see things laterally. Thank you very much.